Remove yourself from the list of people that have disappointed you, that have lied to you, that have let you down. You are number one on that list. Remove yourself. The real you is breathing down your neck, begging you to manifest. Stop lying to yourself. Stop letting you down. You gotta kill the blame game. Stop blaming it on the person that walked out on you. Stop blaming it on the person that overlooked you. We'll find a lot of trauma. We'll find a lot of empty places. If we pull up your history, we'll find a lot of failures. This must be the year that you are not defined by your history, but you fulfill your destiny. Why are you here? What were you placed here to do? Get to work. Get to work. Get to work. Because if you continue to lie to yourself, you won't be able to diagnose and treat your condition, your dysfunction, your disorder in order to treat it and change it. It must be identified. And once you identify it, you got to accept this reality. And the problem with many of you is you have not accepted the fact that you are lazy. You have not accepted the fact that you are inconsistent. You can't diagnose what you have not identified. Sometimes you need to go find a mirror and tell yourself with tears in your eyes, I am the problem. Once we stop accusing everybody else for our inconsistency and our lack of execution, all of a sudden the world opens up. We all need to get serious about our lives and ask ourselves the question, what is my God-given destiny? Why am I here? Why have I survived? Some of the most brilliant minds of our generation are high school and college dropouts. Let me ask you a question. When are you going to drop out of the mentality that you are not enough? Please, please do yourself a favor and dispense with the excuses that you don't have time. Dispense with the excuse that you're not good enough. Dispense with the excuse that nobody will show up if I build it. That too many people are better than me. Drop out of the, I tried it last year and it didn't work. No, you didn't work. Doubt's gonna knock at your door, and insecurity's gonna knock at your door, and adversity and trial and tribulation's gonna knock at your door, and difficult tasks gonna knock at your door. And so you need to be prepared. Ready or not, it's coming. Are you prepared? If you're gonna win the year, if you're gonna win in life, then you gotta be prepared, you need perspective, and you need discipline. We get into this information constipation state where it's like we know all these things to do and really it puts us in a state of paralysis because it's
you heard it all before, you've seen it all before. I mean, really, social media has made the world so small, right? Information travels at the speed of light. And so you got all this information. And so we've become sedated by information. We become satisfied and content with the fact that we know to do good. But to know to do good and not to do it is a disease. It is wickedness. The time is now to start applying what you know. What's the point of taking notes? What's the point of what's the point of buying courses? What's the point of joining communities? What's the point of making an investment? Some of you have journals full of dreams and no action has been taken. You will find that the men and women that turned the world upside down were the ones who got out of their own way. Get to work! You owe you! us we watch we watch everybody win in every facet of life we watch the underdog rise under the lights and we think to ourselves when is it gonna be my time when is it gonna be my time and in order to be next you got to see this thing differently you got to change the way you live you eat you walk you talk you think and once you walk in that newness then you'll be next when inconvenience becomes pleasure, when you have your mind made up that no matter how you're feeling every day, you're going to give it everything you have. You're going to give, you're going to see, you're going to sow, you're going to serve and give it everything you have. Then all of a sudden the world opens up to you. Come to the resolve this year that dedication, discipline, perspective, preparation is going to be your new code of conduct. Motivation! has an expiration date and when motivation dies discipline must take its place the only way you're going to do the only way you're going to accomplish the only way you're going to execute is if discipline takes the place of your motivation 
But until that motivation expires and evolves into discipline, you will never become who God has called you to become. First, we conquer the day. And then we execute the week, and that week turns into a month, and that month turns into a quarter, and that quarter turns into a year. And then all of a sudden you look up and you're no longer just this motivated onlooker. You are a disciplined, desperate, dangerous fulfiller of destiny. What in the world are you waiting for? There are people that are depending on you. God place you in this world to do something. work.